Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm on site working with my dad. He's doing uh, wiring, uh, pulling wires through, getting uh, them nailed in place and everything. And I am uh, putting in more electrical boxes. I'm cutting the holes and popping the boxes in. Uh, there's all different types of electrical boxes. I'm using these metal ones. Uh, you know, there's plastic ones. I just kind of like the metal ones. They're more robust. I like things that I can't break easily with my hands. And uh, I guess the plastic ones would be a little bit of a challenge. But just, you know, plastic can crack and break and get old and brittle. And the metal just seems stronger, classier, slightly more expensive, but not that much. Uh, in order to put in these uh, electrical boxes, we've made up this little template. Uh, it says this side out. You want to put it up to the wall that way as opposed to that way. And the reason is that these metal boxes have screws at the corners and you need those screws to be able to pass through these little holes on the sides here. And if you do it the other way, they'll be on the wrong side. Uh, all of the outlets in this room use this template with a two inch space underneath. We're going to put this right here. You want to keep it uh, closer to a stud than being right in the middle because if it's right in the middle it's not close enough to get wire uh, stapled. You're supposed to have like no more than six inches of space between the staple and the uh, in the box in this case. Uh, all right, so I'm putting that in place. Take the pencil, just kind of run around the inside there. And for those little uh, bump areas, we're using the drill. So I'm going to drill one corner here, one corner here, and then the top and the bottom need a little bit of a hole, two for another uh, little. Uh, but once you attach the outlet, a screw has to go through here, so you need clearance for that. All right, I just made the little beginners. Go through the rest of the way. Okay. Got a. Is this called a? Dad, is this a jigsaw? What is this thing called? Uh, jigsaw. Um, jigsaw. Jigsaw. Okay. I didn't know if jigsaw was only the tabletop thing. All right, I'm going to use this to connect the dots. Some people might say you use safety glasses for this. I don't, know, I don't find it throws a lot out, so I don't bother with it. But you know, if you want to be absolutely perfectly safe, safety glasses would be great. And gloves and a suit of armor. yesterday I knew there was some rain coming so I wanted to save this stuff for today. It has been raining on and off. Okay, so that's free. Pop that out. This goes in. I'm just putting them in anywhere where uh, we have access to the back. And the last step is I'm using these little number four screws to retain it into the, uh, the wall there. Bit. And as I put these in, I'm not putting them in straight because they're such short screws, I'm putting them at a bit of an angle. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if that uh, makes their corners kick up at all because this is all going to be covered underneath uh, the plate anyway. Okay, get it started. And when they go through diagonally, they just uh, they tend to get a better bite. Alright. Yeah. So little though. Yeah, and again, these are number four screws and they're a half an inch long to go into the three-quarter inch board. I, I would have loved it if I could have found three-quarter inch long ones, but I couldn't. And half inch will do. So that's it. Alright, so my dad will be here eventually. He's going to get the wires into there. And meanwhile, I'm going to go and do a bunch of others. That's it. Thanks for watching.